Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will talk about SAP deployment options, which is particularly available in S4 HANA. So as you know that in the previous version in ECC, we have only one option that is on-premise. So we will start with on-premise. Then after that, we will see what are the other options are available in S4 HANA. And it is one of the common questions you will find sometimes in interview. And uh, whenever you are going to uh, interact with your customer during your implementation, that time also this type of questions will be there. What are the benefits of any deployment options? So you can see this screen. Here we have three options are available. So one is your on-premise. That is uh, the first one I have taken here on-premise. Then next one will be cloud. Then third one will be the hybrid module. So one by one, we are going to talk about this. So we will start with on-premise. Basically on-premise when we are saying it is that the traditional process when customers, they have their everything, they own everything. So that means with their on-premise addition, they are going to have their own data center. They are going to purchase the server. Like you can see it is a server. So they are going to maintain their own server. They are going to purchase the landscape. The com complete system landscape will be managed by customer. So when I'm saying customer means maybe any company for a customer point of view or customer their own IT team. So definitely it is the most secured one because uh, everything will be managed by customer, but simultaneously the high cost involved here, both your capital expenditure as well as operating expenditure because they have to purchase the hardware, like which server they are going to purchase, whether IBM server, Dell, Lenovo, different servers are available so that they will purchase. The installation cost also will be handled by customers. The administration cost, the license cost, everything. In this case, SAP is just going to sell the license and that's it, it's over. Everything, the man managing the data center, everything will be managed by uh, customers only. But as I said, it is uh, the most secured one because everything will be managed by customers. So uh, big companies, they prefer this option, the on-premise option, and this is the traditional process. That means from the beginning, customers are always, uh, or uh, any customer, they are going for SAP implementation, they used to do this type of implementation, and in S4 HANA, this option also available. Now, uh, let me show you the on-premise system. So on-premise system, you are already familiar, I guess. So this is, right now, you can see on-premise system. So it is, uh, uh, current the screen is your easy access where users are going to interact with the system, or you can say this is our presentation layer. So being user, I can perform various activities related to finance, related to logistic. Again, in, in a logistic, different modules, finance, different modules, controlling, FACM, all these things. And of course, we are going to have uh, the IMG access also. If you have the development rights, or if you are working as a if you are working as a consultant, then you must have the IMG access. So where we are going to design, we are going to do all type of customizations related to our business process. Okay, so basically as a consultant, you are majorly going to work on these part, all the business process configurations, and in easy access, we are doing the testing. So this is our on premises. Now let me uh, go to the next process that is your. Uh, Cloud systems. Now in this cloud system, you can see uh, here all the applications, whether it is SAP or SAP integrated other applications are available in the cloud. So that means here uh, customers are not going to invest on anything on the hardware like your on-premises. They are not going to maintain any data centers. They are not going to maintain any server. So all the applications are available with cloud. And this cloud is mostly maintained by SAP if they are going to use public cloud. Here we have two options are there, public and private. I will explain on that too. So customer is going to access the cloud applications with, uh, they are going to have uh, a browser where they are going to use it. So through internet, they are going to access different applications. Here it is completely, we are going to shift the traditional transaction codes because in on-premises you are using transaction codes to perform various activities. If I need to post a customer invoice, then I have a T code is there. To post a uh, particular GL posting, I have a T code is there. Whereas in the cloud, instead of using T code, we are going to use Fury application. So it is new user interface, you can say. So for everything, we have different applications are available or commonly we are saying that app. So these apps we can access or this particular interface we can access through internet or uh, any like private network we can access or it can be a customer specific URL also can be generated and that we can use here. And another thing is that it is working on the licensing model. That means it is a subscription based model. Whereas in on-premises yearly we have to or customer is going to pay the license cost. Whereas in cloud it is like uh, 
uh, quarterly subscriptions will be there and mainly the infrastructure everything will be managed by uh, sap only next question whether the customization options we have or not if you are going for the cloud option so whether this customization options will be there or not it will be there some extent it is available it depends what type of uh, access we have whether we are we are in the public cloud or whether in the private cloud whether these upgradations are available or not so i will talk on that let me show you first the system then uh, i will take these points now you can see this is uh, the fury platform or you cloud platform anything you can say so this one right now i'm accessing through one url so this is the, the url will be available for customers and it is uh, not available like in openly it is available so anyone can access it's not like that so only we have the authorization then only we can access this and another important here the all the applications whatever we are going to use being user or if i'm going to use any particular activity i should have the authorizations it, it is completely role specific so basically we have a better user control if we are into the cloud and uh, another thing is the mobility so it is not specific to any particular device i can access this one on mobile i can access on tab anywhere i can access on go i can access various things and uh, anything if i want to use here simply i will just go to the applications and i can perform that activity so various type of applications will be there related to finance related to logistic whatever it is there available in the on premise the same is available with the cloud only thing is if i want to use something so i have a uh, applications will be there okay very frequently let's see if i have access any particular application for example let's say this is one document uh, this is one application so i i have access so let's say i have taken this one so i want to see something i just use it and i can select something for example just randomly i'm showing you so something right so let's say here something i want to see uh, related to a particular sales related documents suppose let's say this document something i selected and go it is information so and I, I can see here so it is available so it depends like what authorizations you have what access you have so you can use this particular fury access or you can use this fury apps now next question on what basis customers are going to choose whether they will go for on premises or whether will be cloud so as i said on premises means everything will be managed by customer whereas cloud is like everything will be ma managed by uh, sap mostly in it depends in cloud again we have two options are available one is your uh, public cloud and one other one is your private cloud so uh, here we are working on saas model so software as solutions any customer let's say they are going to start new or a new customer they are going to start start their sap journey so in that case maybe they can start with a public cloud so public cloud means here comparatively security is not that great like your on premises because on premises is fully managed by customer it is also not that good as your public cloud because as it is a public cloud so where it is delivered to customers over one open network which is available for the public uses right so initial days like let's say for example we are going for sap or we are going to subscribe this particular app uh, cloud platform for a few days or for a few months maybe we can try this one whether it is good or not or it is going to solve our purpose or not so in that case maybe we can try the public cloud and uh, another benefit here it is it is sap is going to provide you the best practice so that means already predefined applications are available and it is we can go for that if it we are in particular industry accordingly those applications are available and we can use it so it is very easy to adapt ready ready for the implementations or it is um, like very quickly we can go for uh, sap and which sap is saying that rise with sap so that means as per the industry as per the industry best practices sap is giving here if you are going for public cloud whereas customers are always prefer the private cloud because in this private cloud they can choose their particular uh, data center for example we are very happy with aws data center if we will go for public cloud then it is not available because that there we can't we don't have any rights we can't take a choice whereas if we we'll go for private cloud we can go for aws we can go for let's say uh, azure we can go for alibaba so anything whatever we want we can choose here and dedicated firewalls are available here so that's why comparatively we can say it is more secured than your private uh, public cloud so 
and second thing let's say already uh, it is applicable for any existing customers where they have uh, uh, invested something that means in the previous versions they have some uh, developed some reports now they want to uh, they want to move to the cloud but also they don't want to go for a complete uh, redesign process they don't want to go for that because they want to continue whatever earlier they have developed that is not available in a public cloud in that case private cloud is the best option for those customers so whatever innovations everything is there so they don't want to adapt they want to continue with the, their old process with but they want to shift from on premises to cloud so in that case uh, private cloud will be a better option so particularly you can say companies when they are going for actual implementations they prefer private cloud but public cloud is available for uh, initial days we may try or let's say we don't want to go for any complex uh, com IT all these things so in that case as it is available on SaaS software as a service so that means it is just plug and play system immediately we can take the access and uh, and we can start using it so it is more convenient for business to go for this uh, particular option now coming to the third option so third option is your hybrid model so hybrid solution is particularly available for customers where they are they want to go for s4 hana but along with that they want to go for a combination of multiple things so they want to go for both on premises as well as they want to go for cloud also you can see here in this particular picture you can see this is s4 hana is available and that is our on premises because already we invested on our servers on data center everything so that we want to return right so this will be there plus we want to go for the cloud and benefit of the cloud is like you can say some urban softwares which are available like uh, Ariba that is for the procurement point of view, Concur for your uh, travel management point of view or let's say Hybris. So any additional application success factor. So those we want to use and this is completely cloud based applications and all these softwares are very popular in their domain, right? For example, you want the HR solutions. So we want to go for the success factor. So that is available in the cloud. Now those data we want to bring into our data center. And in that case, the hybrid solution is the best option where we have a uh, combination of both options will be there on premises as well as cloud. And as per stats, 99% implementations, you will find that companies are using the hybrid. I'm, I'm talking about the big companies. So where they have both on-premises system is there, plus they have the cloud solution is available. So any user, they can uh, use on-premises as per their authorizations, and any user, they can access the cloud as per their authorizations. And the system which I was showing earlier, it is a hybrid one only because I have both on-premises system is available and as well as the cloud solution is available. But again, it is customer choice which option they are going for cloud, they will go for hybrid or they will go for on-premises that is their budget and their call. But these three options are available and another one is there that is central finance so that I will explain in another video about the central finance. So I hope you got some clarity about the deployment options. So this is a uh, short uh, explanation on the deployment options. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.